Yo, what's up guys, my name is Ness, and uh, yeah, welcome to a new video, and in today's video, boys, I'm gonna be doing a squad builder, something I haven't been uh, doing for a long time, I've only done it once at the start of FIFA 14 Ultimate Team, and then I've, um, then I've done a BPL squad builder, but uh, yeah, today, boys, I have a very overpowered squad that I have been using lately, it is with one of the best, well, the best players in, in the game, in my opinion, possibly, like, one of the best. I mean, you have Ronaldo and, and the likes of that, but these players are much cheaper than they are. But anyways, boys, first things first, if you guys are looking for any cheap and reliable ultimate team coins, then make sure you head over to ftcoins2go.co.uk and use the code NAS. Yes, that's right, NAS, 4 or 5% off. They're the cheapest around at the moment because they only sell uh 100k for 8 pounds. I haven't seen cheap and cheaper anywhere else, but uh, so, uh, yeah, make sure you head over to ftcoins2go.co.uk for your cheap and reliable coins and, uh, yeah, if you guys could smash 300 likes on today's uh, squad builder, I will be uploading trading to team of the year Sergio Ramos tomorrow. Uh, the second episode, um, which I haven't been uploading in a while now, I think it has been two weeks ago since the first episode was uploaded. So yeah, I think it's time for team of trading to team of the year Sergio Ramos again uh, to uh, to appear on my channel. But uh, yeah, let's jump into the squad. 300 likes is the goal, and uh, in goal, <laughs> funny enough, we do have Petacek, the overpowered Chelsea uh, Chelsea D. Chelsea goalkeeper with the helmet on and on the left center back position we do have upgraded uh, Jerome Boateng who is playing for uh, Bayern Munich obviously uh, his upgraded version is uh, around 10,000 coins and in my opinion his non upgraded card is as good as his upgraded card so if you guys want to make this squad a little bit cheaper I would go for the non upgraded card because it, ex it like it feels exactly the same in game uh, yeah what can I say about this second center back, boys? David Luiz, the most overpowered center back uh, since FIFA 12, basically. He was good in FIFA 12, he was good in FIFA 13, and he is good again in FIFA 14. And uh, yeah, I mean that guy. I think he'll he 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 always will be good while while he's playing consistently at Chelsea. And uh, on the fullbacks, boys, we do have David Alaba and Kyle Walker. Uh, basically, because of the pace uh, on the right hand side, and Alaba just because he's the best left back in the game, in my opinion. And he also has a pretty good link with Jerome Boateng, who what is also very nice to have in hybrid. Since if you don't have links, you don't have chemistry, and if you don't have chem chemistry, your team is shit, and that will result in uh, losses, and then you will cry. But yeah, after the center defensive mid, we do have uh, Luis Gustavo from uh, Wolfsburg. Yet again, a very solid player who also plays in the Bundesliga. He links up with David Luiz and Jerome Boateng. And uh, yeah, on the right-hand side, we do have someone who doesn't link with uh, Luis Gustavo. It is uh, Kevin Miralas, who was a striker last year on FIFA 13, but he moved to a right mid in, F in FIFA 14. He also got an inform uh, in, in 13, who was a right mid. But uh, yeah, well, what can I say about him? He's a pretty decent player. Uh, not the best, not the worst, but uh, yeah. His, his other 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 partner on the left hand side is uh, Marco Royce who is uh, yeah who is actually way better than uh, Mir Miralas is for me like Royce does make the runs that Mir Miralas doesn't make what a pretty annoying uh, name to uh, pronounce by the way Mir Miralas 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 whatever on the CM position boys we do have Kevin De Bruyne uh, it's a transferred version he does play for uh, uh, VFL Wolfsburg I think and uh, yeah to link him up we have a uh, Aubameyang and uh, upgraded Benteke in the striker positions and uh, yeah, what can I say about Aubameyang, the, mas the most overpowered player in the game in my, in my opinion then, uh, alongside with Balotelli, but uh, yeah, Benteke about Benteke, his upgraded version pretty much is good, but yet again, the same with Jerome Boateng, it is basically the same as his non-upgraded non version, you don't feel like a big difference in game, so if you guys want to make this squad a little bit cheaper because Marco Royce is not the cheapest around, then just go for the no uh, Benteke, but uh, yeah, let's jump into the highlights. Highlights then boys, so uh, yeah, basically my opinion on this team, the defense is pretty solid, the best uh, defenders you can basically have in this team are, um, uh, well, on FIFA, are Alaba, Boateng, David Luiz, and then I kind of disagree on Kawa. I thought he would be, he would have been very good for me. It is still a very overpowered right back, but I prefer Mika Richards myself because he's pretty rapid as well. He like he's not slow and he's also strong, and that's what I want to have because when you come up against the Benteke or Balotelli, Kyle Walker basically doesn't stand a chance, and you're fucked when they counter you. But uh, yeah, Kyle, Kyle Walker is decent, but he like I I might have preferred uh, Mika Richards. But uh, yeah, off to the midfield. <laughs> Luis Gustavo, what, what can I say about him? A very solid center defensive mid. 
And uh, yeah, I think he's one of, one of the best you can have on that position. Miralas was a bit of a letdown for me. He doesn't make the runs that much as uh, as Royce does. So yeah, I tried to tend uh, right on left hand side. Royce, uh, yeah, as I just said, a very solid player. He's pretty expensive though, but I think he's worth it. Uh, then we have Kevin De Bruyne, who is, in my opinion, like one of the best CEMs in this game. Like his shot guard was awesome, and so is his. Well, Wolfsburg card since yeah the stats are the same it's the same player so yeah Kevin De Bruyne is a very awesome CAM, CAM in my opinion if you make a Bundesliga squad I would have gone for Bun uh, Gundogan but if you uh, make a BPL one definitely go for Kevin De Bruyne since he's the best one and yeah the strikers as I said Benteke his upgraded version are pretty much the same as his regular one um, he's good he's, he's like very good very strong very pacey but yeah it's not worth uh, buying the upgrade when his regular version is exactly the same in my opinion well it's not exactly the same but he just feels the same and about my young yeah just op op and uh, yeah boys that is about it so uh, yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you did perhaps leave a like 300 likes is the goal for today's video for another video tomorrow it's gonna be team of the year to sergio ramos trading to team of the year sergio ramos and make sure you guys head over to F fut coins to go that code at UK and use the code NAS. That's right, NAS for for four or five percent off. They're the cheapest around at the moment. And uh, yeah, boys, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys on next time. Peace.